uh, good morning today uh, continuing with the case discussions which i have been telling you or giving you some feedbacks uh, today i only on the rounds i found a very interesting case which i thought of sharing with the my post graduates for the teaching purpose this is a 6 and 1/2 years old female child on the rounds i just found that the child got admitted yesterday with history of fever for about 5 to 6 days then following fever the child started having left sided pain in the left knee joint for about a two days after the fever and one day after that the child started having rashes below the knee bilaterally so with those complaints the child got admitted after seeing the child before seeing i just talk to you have to talk about few histories which are very important the history of any hematuria so there was no history of any hematuria there was no history of any pain abdomen there no history of any vomitings and no history of any breathlessness further probing there was no history of any prolonged drug intake for fever they had gone to a doctor and very vividly she says that paracetamol was being given for the fever when the appearance of rash occurred the doctor himself said you refer this patient to the hospital now uh, this is all in the history now i'll show you the basic purpose of showing you was the rashes how are they appearing where are they and what else is occurring so i'll take you closer to the child and on examination if you find this child had this child was a febrile when i was touching this child hemodynamically the child is stable the child it can be focused on the face the child is stable now i show you the rash this child has got see the distribution this is a maculopapular rash non itchy the rash is this is raised over the skin surface if i move my finger this 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 rash is raised over the skin plus more importantly this child this is non blanchable see this is non blanchable so if you have a child see the distribution of the and along with see the distribution is both lower limbs small small rashes just close to the left knee joint i try to press it here as well because very importantly you have to find out whether they are petechi or not so they look like petechi but when i press them and i leave them it is non blanchable so you have a rash which is non blanchable there is bilateral pedal edema and along with it if you compare there is swelling of the left knee joint well further i try to flex this limb ek beta ek minute kuch nahi karenge jitna mod sakti hai ve jitna mod sakti hai beta so see there is so much of a tenderness swelling is also there the child is not able to flex this this child is not able to flex the left knee joint so in short this child has got a small history of fever fever rash and arthritis arthritis of the left knee joint so if you have three things i think you few of you have would have clinched the diagnosis and this is a case of a anaphylactoid purpura or the other name is henoschonlin purpura presently we call it as an iga vasculitis so this was a child i wanted to show you the rashes now if you get such kind of a rash in the examination if this kind of a case is there in the exam this will always be kept as a short case or a spot case so if you have this kind of a rash which is available which is there in this child what would you like to keep a differential diagnosis the differential diagnosis will be 
in this search, enough electrode purpura will be sometime if there is a very strong history of fever is meningococcemia. If there is a prolonged history of any uh, drug intake, then some drugs, especially sulfonamides, which are normally not used nowadays, but sulfonamides can cause this kind of a rash. Rash can occur to many other drugs as well, but there, there is a long list of those drugs which you can find out from the book. The other thing is, it could be a part and parcel of a bacterial endocarditis. If the child has been taking some drugs or some fever going on, so bacterial endocarditis also can sometimes mimic. So, a kind of a septicemic rash or stept any bacterial rash, but yes, this, this presentation mainly with a short history goes more in favor of a NF-electroid fever. So, this is, this is what we have diagnosed today as a case of an HSP. Sometimes this rash can go on to the buttocks. Basically, it is seen on the extensor surface of the both lower limbs and it may even involve the buttocks. Luckily, the complications of the nf electrode purpura usually are the, in the abdomen you have intersusception. Sometimes you may have passage of the melina or the blood in the stool or hematochezia. There could be involvement of the kidneys and that way there is no history of any hematuria. At times there could be history of microscopic hematuria. We try to test by doing the dipstick. There is There are no RBCs, there are no proteins. So, if there is no renal involvement. The, of course, arthritis is there. But asking the history from the mother, this has been gradually waning off. Earlier it was the swell, swelling was much more and if you could appreciate the swelling is not that much today. Only thing is the child is not able to move or flex the left knee joint. So, NF electrode purpura, HSP you must keep in mind. Now, going on to the what could be the, uh, how do you monitor? You usually don't give any, any drugs. There are no specific diagnostic tests required for NF electrode purpura. It is mainly the history and the examination. Sometimes you give steroids in these patients, especially when you have the complications. What complication? If the, you are suspecting very severe pain abdomen and maybe you are suspecting that there could be a case of an intersusception, you have a lump palpable, the child is passing blood in the stools or there is hematuria, then those are the indications when you start steroids and especially in children who are got glomerular nephritis, at times you may have to use the immunosuppressive drugs. So that is what in the short, I just wanted to uh, highlight the rashes, what you must keep in mind. So this is a case of an NMF electrode purpura, which I wanted to highlight. Thank you very much.